Welcome. So why do we use parentheses and brackets? So what I have up here, um, I actually have a numeric, uh, or I'm sorry, algebraic expression. I'll write it like this. I don't want to use that x there. So I have 2 times y plus 5. Now, using the order of operations, um, we would just say, oh, well, it's pretty obvious. By using these order of operations, they do 2 times y. right? You do multiplication first, and then add the 5. Well, what that says, if we were going to kind of translate this, it says 2 multiplied by a number plus 5. right? And that could be very well what we need to do, where we could just evaluate that for our, our um, value of y. But it comes into an important thing of, you know, how could we represent something that maybe we don't want to multiply just by y. We want to multiply by y plus 5. So how can we do that to represent that? Well, let, let's give it a scenario here. Let's say you're about to work um, at a job. And your dad says um, that, hey, they will double how much money you make during, uh, for that day. Let's say you have to work outside for them or something. So let's say you already have $5. And he'll double how much money you have, how much money you bring in. So he, he gives you, let's say you start off with $5. And then y is the amount of money that you're going to uh, earn for the day. Well, let's say you earn $20, all right? So that means you'd have 2 times 20 plus 5. So if you just do the order of operations, um, remember $5 is what you started off with. And your dad is going to double all the money that you have after including the amount of money that you uh, earn for working. So if you just keep this as um, 20 in for y, you'd have 40 plus 5, which is 45, which is very good. But you never doubled that $5 that you originally had, right? And of course, you want to double all the money. Your dad said he would double all the money that you had um, that you gained for that day, including your money that you started with. So if I had 2, how can I represent this? So instead of saying 2 times y plus 5, what I can use is a parenthesis. So what the parentheses allow me to do is now I'm going to say I'm going to double everything inside of here. So I'm going to kind of bypass, not really bypass, but bypass the order of operations where we say we have to do multiplication and division before we do addition and subtraction. Order of operations allows us to kind of jump ahead and to do, it, do an operation that we wouldn't do before another before it. So therefore, I have y plus 5. So there, to do this, I do 20 plus 5. 2 times 25, which equals 50. So that's why we use parentheses and brackets. And a lot of us might say, you know, why do we use brackets instead of parentheses? Do they mean the same thing? And yeah, they mean the exact same thing. Um, the reason that we use brackets a lot of times is just to differentiate uh, between between uh, the parentheses. So it means the exact same thing. Uh, all you're going to simply do here is first do the innermost parentheses first, then work for it, and then you can multiply your 2 times what value you get uh, inside for your uh, brackets. So parentheses and brackets are just ways for us to organize our operations and to do operations that um, first we wouldn't do it by normal order of operations, we wouldn't do before other ones, allows us to do those operations first. Um, so. There you go. That's a little quick uh, thing of parentheses and brackets.